Good morning, YouTubers. It's your boy, Coach Doug, and another episode of uh, PNW Trout Slayer. Uh, today, uh, as you notice, it's going to be a different type of uh, episode. Um, it is raining today, so it kind of ruined my plans. Um, I should have went yesterday because uh, it was um, beautiful out, sun was out, but um, I had to be an adult yesterday, so I had to go uh, finish up my yard. And uh, But it started raining uh, towards the... Uh, later part of the day so I never finished the yard so I got to do it this morning in the little drizzle that does around here. Um, I did attempt to go to a spot on um, American Lake that's close nearby that I could have done um, some shore fishing but uh, when I got over there uh, there was already somebody over there fishing, a group of people and of course I don't want to interrupt I mean there was probably room for me to get there but uh, get in there but um, I, uh, I, uh, I'm a big person, I'm, I'm big about um, other people's privacy and uh, not interfering, you know what I'm saying? Um, I'm kind of uh, kind of cautious about stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? Um, I could have gone maybe over to the uh, behind Camp Murray and fished off the shore there, or the, over there at uh, Harry Todd. They did a redid that whole park and they got a, actually uh, a dock out there that's uh, designated for fishing. I could have gone over there, but uh, I really wanted to stay close because. Even though I finished the uh, yard, I still have like little spots here and there that I need to touch up. So as soon as the uh, battery charges up for the uh, electric lawnmower, I'm probably going to get back out there. So, but uh, so today's uh, episode, we're going to go ahead and talk about the top 20 um, YouTube channels that I myself personally I love to watch. Um, really, not in any particular order, but. Uh, I would say maybe the top 10 that I have listed are my favorites, except for the last three that I'm going to mention. Not only because the last three is, one is my my channel, and the other two are uh, uh, friends of mine. Especially one of them is, uh, you know, my friend, but he's like my brother. But we'll get more into that later as we get through the list. But, um... Touch bases for uh, all the new people who's uh, subscribed within the last couple weeks. Because um, I know two weeks ago I was at 73 uh, subscribers, and as of today I have 97 subscribers. And I want to thank you guys for subscribing. Um, my goal was to hopefully by the end of the year hit 100 because the goal, yeah, maybe the end result is to hopefully one day be monetized. But right now, I'm just out there putting out videos and enjoying my, my time as I build the channel. And I'm only three three subs to 100, so I'm pretty excited about that. And uh, I know that maybe 100 is not a, not a lot compared to the channels that I watch. But for me, that's a personal um, achievement, you know. Because when I first started this channel, it was in July 2020. And, you know, we were all locked down because of COVID. And uh, our state didn't open uh, fishing up till like, May, I believe. And uh, because Governor Inslee thought the best thing to do to battle uh, COVID was to not allow anybody to go fishing. I mean, I didn't understand the logic in that because I think going out fishing, especially for us who use our kayak, that is one of the best social distancing you can do. Plus, it's not cooping you up in the house. It's getting you out outdoors into the fresh air so you're not breathing the same old air, dusty air in your home. You know what I'm saying? And plus, for mental health issues, get out. You know? So, I was thinking to myself, hey, since because since you uh, fish at, all, well, at least once a week, why don't you uh, start up a YouTube channel and uh, and then record everything, you know? So I decided to start a channel. I am the I am my buddy Brian, and uh, say, hey man, I want you to be my uh, my co-partner, you know, because he's my fishing partner. He's my boy from um, back in New York, you know, and uh, he said sure. Granted, uh, he's not out out in the water as much as I am, but uh, he's out there. <laughs> um, we are planning a uh, trip, a camping trip in July, which we are very. Uh, booked our camping spots Brian and, and my family both our families are going um, from July 6th to July 9th so that's right after uh, 4th of July and uh, my uh, Junior Lancer's um, 
firework uh, fundraising firework stand. So it'll be a, a good time to unwind, go do some fishing, do a couple episodes, and spend time with the family. You know, because uh, at the end of July is when uh, everything starts kicking off for for, for uh, football practice. Uh, we will be having all of our teams this year, so I'm excited. Um, I'm rotating back down to the fourth, uh, third, second grade level uh, because all my guys that I brought up are now freshmen. They just got done with their first season of freshman ball this past fall. Um, a lot of them had a wake up call, you know. They didn't. Uh, I warned them. I warned them once they got to high school that <laughs> it was going to be a whole different ball game, you know. And um, a couple of my wife sat down and talked to you know why why you're having problems why you want to quit and they're like it's not coach Doug it's not his type of football and you know that really humbles me but um yeah youth football and high school football totally different totally different in how you coach um development still number one especially that I share that that same thought process with the high school coach coach Miller um but uh, yeah, the boys had a wake-up call. Uh, hopefully, uh, come, uh, tenth grade, it'll be a lot better for them. Even my son, he had problems. He had some issues this past uh, season. Um, hopefully, he uh, you know dust himself off and stand up and do it again, right? Um, but yeah, so my vision of the channel was just to start um, recording my my outings. And you know, and, and motivate other uh, disabled veterans, veterans, or even people who uh, don't know what they want to do. I mean, they're, they're bored, or they, they they don't know. You know, they need something to do in their life. Uh, get out and fish, or go find your fishing. Meaning, go find your activity. It doesn't have to necessarily be fishing, knitting, art. Um, my other. Uh, I guess I don't want to say it's work because I volunteer and but I coach. I mean, yeah, I own the organization and I'm the president, but um, I volunteer. I mean, I don't get paid for this. You need so basically what I'm saying is go out there and find find your niche. You know, and uh, for me, coaching, fishing, spending time with my family, it's great for battling PTSD. And uh, my wife will tell you. I mean, she's around me 24/7. Everybody that's close to me, you know, I've learned how to, 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 to cope with it, you know. And hopefully, I motivated a lot of you guys to get out there and uh, find your fishing, you know. Um, actually, I was uh, I am by a guy, just for your you uh, veterans, veterans and disabled vets out there, if you wanted to get into this kayaking, kayak fishing and stuff, uh, let me see here, let me, uh, go to my IM, ooh, uh, da -da 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 -da. Uh, then, uh, there you are, anyways, uh, what's his name, his name is Anthony Isaac, he sent me this, uh, IM, your YouTube channel is, uh, what is your YouTube channel? Okay. So this is Isaac. He's a retired United States Air Force, and he's been a volunteer with Heroes of the Water Northwest Washington for 10 years. So I guess the organization he's associated with, again, is Heroes of the Water Northwest Washington. And they provide free kayak fishing for all military veterans, first responders, and the families here in the Puget Sound area. We are one of about 70 chapters throughout the U.S., U.K., and Australia. And uh, so go ahead and visit his YouTube channel, their YouTube channel, for uh, it'll give a better idea of what their events look like. And then. Uh, Oh, they also had a, a news story in Cuomo, uh, Como too. So, uh, good things, guys. Good things. I'm glad you guys are out there. Um, this is basically the same idea I had, you know. For me, I, I, I just tell people, hey, you want to fish? Let's pick a spot and uh, let's go fishing. 
and a couple other couple people who really don't fish as much they usually leave it up to me what lake would be great and if they're beginners I always take them to my uh, my favorite lake favorite lake of all time for all you guys who subscribe in the beginning you know which lake that is right Lake St. Clair <laughs> it's just uh, the reason why is because that lake is a finger lake very narrow um, there's few open spots where it gets really big and um, but it's a great kayak lake and also if you know what you're doing and where to go you're guaranteed gonna max out every time I mean there's a couple times I have got skunked on that lake and that's only because um, I'm either was the straight trolling and not hitting none of the honey spots that I, my spots on that lake and uh, and that all depends on what time of year too you know um, I try not to fish a lake as soon as it was stocked maybe earlier when I first started trout fishing I would but uh, as I've gotten seasoned and I've gotten a little bit a lot better um, now I like to go fish the lake that that haven't been stocked right away or has been stocked but for t some time in, in the past you know because it allows that trout to um, now eat the food in that lake and um, because uh, with stock trout the, the meat is white and that's because you know from the hatchery they're uh, they're uh, eating the pellets and all that stuff but once they get into the lake and they start eating the uh, natural foods that the lake offers and they got a bigger area to swim and it burns off all that fat that they have stored up and uh, now the meat start, starts turning to a pinker color or an orange color and once it starts hitting the, those colors you know that that fish is now uh, eating very healthy getting their swim on they're uh, ready to get ready to get fished and uh, also they're a lot bigger you know and then the bigger you get the trout the, 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 the bigger the bones get so you don't have to worry about because trout has a lot of bones and uh, more than often I'm either usually uh, taking the bones out for the wife or she's just picking through it whatever whatnot but uh, the bigger the trout the bigger the bones the less of the hassle right um, so yeah, just get out there, man. <laughs> get out there. So, like I said, today I'm going to go ahead and go over my top 20 list of uh, YouTube channels that I like love to watch myself. And so I'm going to start with the, the first one. is uh, Spilt Milk Productions. Very educational. He is a uh, local. He's a Washingtonian. And uh, he's actually one of the first channels that I uh, came across. And uh, and he and, you know he goes from all types of trout to kokanee, and I love his kokanee videos. They're very uh, educational. Um, if you want, if you're looking to get into kokanee, um, I I suggest Spilt Milk Productions. Uh, number two on my list, Cornelius Catfish Channel, uh, the Catfish Hunter. Um, I came across this channel I think about uh, maybe about a year ago. <clears throat> Um, I was searching on videos on how to catfish because uh, I hadn't caught a uh, Washington catfish yet, and and uh, and his videos are down to earth. They're not professional whatsoever. They're they're, they're like mine, my, my videos, you know, um, shooting from the hip. So, uh, but uh, he's very family orientated. His family goes out and fishes with him. His son picking up all his tricks and of the trade. And uh, he's going to soon be just like his father. Um, soon, I know that they said that catfishing is going to be starting pretty soon, so I can't wait for their uh, for them to start on those. You know, summer's coming, and uh, and I'm telling you, this guy, he be getting them big catfish. You know what I'm saying? The big ones. So I, know, I forgot where he's uh, located. I know it's uh, I want to say down south. Or maybe more like Midwest type, but uh, check out his uh, channel, guys. Cornelius Catfish Channel, Catfish Hunter. Uh, the third uh, channel. Uh, this is actually the first fishing channel that I uh, watched on YouTube, and also gave me the idea to do a channel, and that is uh, Explore uh, Explore Nature's Catches. Um, 
it's a, it's a boyfriend and girlfriend, I believe, and they just had a beautiful baby. Uh, they haven't been on YouTube in the last uh, couple few months because of the, uh, the baby, the arrival of the baby. But they just posted a couple videos uh, past couple days, now from their back. But um, um, they're a little bit more professional with their videos. Uh, they uh, they do a little bit more. Um, um, uh, what do you call? Um, they look. They do a little bit more to their videos. Um, the music, the the editing. Um, uh, very, it's very well put together. But um, it's very enjoyable to watch. Uh, they they um, they do a lot of tutorials. Um, I know that uh, his girlfriend's uh, favorite um, mice tail is the uh, cotton candy, the pink one with the white tail. Um, actually, I used used the cotton candy over at um, Mineral Lake last week and um, I caught a couple uh, nice size uh, rainbows on those so um, next um, channel that I love watching is Outdoor Chef Life um, here's another one that's uh, very professional um, this guy his name is Taku and his uh, wi uh, wife or his girlfriend his name is um, Jocelyn and uh, he is a professional chef, and uh, I guess um, he used to work in the, you know the restaurant setting and this and that. But then finally took his um, his uh, trade and his uh, skill set out 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 into the YouTube world, and uh, they do a lot of catching cooks. Um, right now they're in the Bahamas, about I believe, and they're doing a five ten day uh, adventure out there catching eating and uh, eating with the catch, you know, type deal. Uh, they also have another YouTube channel that's associated with Outdoor Chef Life, and that's uh, Tackling the World, I believe. And that's more of them them showing their uh, them traveling in their um, their uh, camping van that they, they uh, uh, bought and, and, and modified. And so it takes so so you're not seeing just the travel part and the cooking and all that stuff on one channel. So they separated the two. And I am actually uh, subscribed to both channels, but my favorite channel is the Outdoor Chef Life one. And uh, amazing content. You want some good ideas on on how to prepare some a lot of your food. Um, he does a lot of uh, sushi, um, a lot of American style uh, 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 rolls and stuff like that. And and it's just very educational and and very entertaining to watch. Um, love your channel, guys. <laughs> Um, next channel is a, the uh, another channel uh, that I first wa started watching. Um, it took me a while to get used to this guy, just only because the the, the way uh, his voice is and and some of the things he does. But it's catchy though, so so that's uh, a big thing. And uh, but extreme Philly fishing, and his name is uh, Le Leo Chang, 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 Chang or Chang. Chang. Um, but extreme Philly fishing, he calls it EPF. But uh, he he's a different type of uh, a fisherman, that, um, and and I respect him for this. One is he's very educational. He teaches you the scientific name along with the modern name that we call it, called the fish. He gives you a little educational uh, uh, bit on about them, some information where they're found. He also keeps a running uh, list of his catches which I have been doing for years on, on my trout and, 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 and maybe whatever other fish I catch up. I've, I've always had a log going, but not like him. He knows how many how many exactly he's caught and what, where, and how. It's very, it's very amazing. And his biggest, biggest, um, uh, his biggest attribute is micro fishing. I had no idea that that was, that, that was a thing. And uh, he does it like like it's nothing, and and it introduced me to a lot other types of species. Didn't know there's a whole new world of little guy, little fishes, <laughs> little micro fishing. <laughs> but um, check out his channel too. Um, number six on my list is Mogogi, and I believe they're Korean because Mogogi, Mogogi, well Mogogi, uh, they do a lot of catching fish. Um, it's, it's an, again, it's a uh, 
it's a um, uh, a couple. I don't I don't think they're married. It's a boyfriend girlfriend. Uh, I believe um, they haven't been on a while, but uh, I think they just finally um, posted another video not too long ago, about a couple couple days ago. So, but um, but they 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 um, introduced the Asian style cooking with um with uh fishing and and um anything to do with wa the water um the next channel i watch is, is a little bit different than the channels i've mentioned but um the first time i came across this video which was not that long ago actually i just can't wait for this guy to come out every time with a new video um his name is uh, Brody, and his channel is YBS Youngblood. Um, he, let's just say, this dude uh, is living the life. Uh, he he is li he lives out near like uh, Australia, Nether uh, uh, not Netherlands, but Australia, New Zealand. But uh, yeah, he lives he lives off the beach. He's got a house on the beach, and this is what he does. Like most of these guys that I mentioned for a living, I mean, his videos are phenomenal. Um, he does a lot of catch and cook. He does a lot of uh, adventures, as in, um, uh, like, he'll have tasks that he'll have in each um, video. And, and and he also incorporates his whole family, you know. And, and, and if he's succeeding, they're succeeding, you know. And I love seeing stuff like that. And I every time, I, I just can't wait for his um, video to come out. YBS Youngblood. Number eight on my list, uh, Northern Tribal Outdoors. Um, another uh, um, very educational type uh, of, um, YouTube channel. I've talked to him a couple times on uh, on his uh, channel, and uh, he's giving me lots of good tips. Uh, he also he did not just he doesn't just do fishing, but he also does um, hunting. Um, he did a whole uh, duck hunting. Uh, uh, series and uh, um, I, I never duck hunted, but the men in my family, like my grandfather and uncle, they have done all that stuff, and so I wasn't really big into that, you know, the hunting aspect. But watching Northern Tribal Outdoors and his stuff, um, pretty good, pretty good stuff. Um, next is uh, Northern Nor Northwest Fishing Secrets. NW Fishing Secrets. Um, this guy, amazing guy. His adventures. Uh, he goes out into the hills, the mountains of the Northwest, and he uh, tries and, and fish from a lot of the ponds and lakes that we can't even get to. And the beauty of these places that he projects in his videos—it's so amazing. Um, you know, I'm a disabled veteran, and I can't. I wish I could do stuff like that. Um, hike into a to a lake and, and and show the beauty of of untouched or barely touched by human hands and that's the aspect of his videos he brings to you and he does all the the catch and cook um that's where I got the fish tacos from um with the guacamole uh, not the guac but the uh avocado on it I got it from him and he also has uh the notorious fishing bullet fly ball or, what, or whatever it's called the bullet lure bullet lure and uh, I have I don't haven't purchased one yet but everyone that I've seen that has used those guarantee it guarantee you're gonna get a, get a trout and it's usually a nice ice trout on that thing um, love love his adventures um, I know he bought some property out out somewhere in the mountains somewhere and uh, he goes out there once in a while, fishes from the, the, the river that runs through it, and uh, lives off the land and does, you know, some episodes on there. But I, that's one of the ones I highly recommend if, you, if you're looking for really good entertainment. Um, Northwest Fishing Secrets. Uh, next on my list is uh, Ace Videos. Here's another guy that was kind of kind of weird to me, but then after watching his videos and, and, and how he goes about things, and he's just loving life. Just like the rest of these guys, I mean, probably many of you guys watch my video and like, man, this guy's kind of weird, you know. But uh, but hey, weird is what makes us uh, us, right? <laughs> but Ace videos, he does. A, he's another one that does a lot of catch, the catching cooks, um, a lot of ventures. Uh, 
he has his dad in his videos a lot, which is uh, pretty awesome. Um, and seems like his dad enjoys what they're doing. He probably that's where he learned it from and everything. And, and uh, they just got them doing. They I, I don't know if they're down in the, uh, Florida, Florida, or but or around the Bahamas or something. But they uh, just got done doing uh, diving and uh, diving for their food and the catch and cook on there. So, yep, check out eight videos. Uh, another, uh, the next um, YouTube channel that I love watching is uh, where I'm learning right now because I want to start doing this is uh, crappie fishing. And uh, the name of this channel is Hook City TV. Um, the dude in there, man, is mad cool. Um, he's got his family on there a lot. Brings out his fan, his dad, his dad, and uh, and a lot of his but his buddies and stuff like that. But he is the god of crappie fishing, and uh, I'm learning learning a lot because there's a couple lakes out here where I fish, like um, uh, uh, Silver Lake, um, our, uh, Lake St. Clair. They said has um crappie. Um, uh, crap. A couple of lakes, but um, I don't. I a few years back, I uh, no, actually a little bit longer because I've been doing this for a few years. But uh, about four or five years back, I caught my first crappie over at Silver Lake, and it was a nice big size. And uh, I haven't ate crappie yet, so I don't know what they taste like. But uh, I definitely do want to get start doing a lot more crappie fishing. So Hook City TV, and I think they're they're like Midwest. Uh, located or something like that. Um, next on my list, I just recently found this channel. Um, I like this dude because he reminds me of my bo one of my boys, Lucci, who is also from uh, this guy's from Cali, and my boy Lucci's from Cali. Uh, but his his um, YouTube channel is it gets real. I love this dude. Um, he it sounds like he's a rapper because his intro it's him doing the old uh, Easy E uh, tune. But to his own lyrics, and uh, he does uh, he does all types of uh, fishing. Also, very educational, um, and very down to earth. So, he, and he he look like he a hood dude, just like I used to be. So, it gets real. Good channel. Um, I mean <laughs> these are all good channels. I mean, <laughs> but uh, the next one is addicted to fishing. Addicted to Fishing, a very educational um, channel on river fishing. They do a lot of uh, steelhead fishing, a lot of salmon fishing, and uh, I mean, also you know, regular trout like rainbows and your uh, cutthroat, whatever. But they're they're, they're more of um, I think they they take people out. They're actually an actual um, uh, guide. But um, I know Outdoor Chef Life's been on there and all his buddies. Um, I believe Northwest Fishing Secrets is, has gone out fishing with them. Um, but uh, yeah, these guys—they're—they're—they're they're, they're a fun group of guys. It's not just one guy that does it. it there's not like uh, a few of them. And I know one of the guys, the one with the uh, long hair, he uh, started another uh, YouTube channel, and uh, I caught a couple of the videos, and uh, I like the direction he's taking that. And uh, yeah, keep going, man. I, it's a good channel, but not on my list. <laughs> but yeah, like I said, uh, addicted to fishing, man. Uh, very, very uh, good. Uh, and you'll tell by um, by if you look at their subscribing list, how many people do you, you'll see. They they they're they're uh, favorite really heavily liked. Next on my list, Samung Outdoors. This guy. Um, first time I watched he was doing a couple catch and cooks but this guy also um, he's outdoors so he'll all his hunting adventures bird hunting um, uh, deer hunting bear hunting um, all elk hunting uh, and including fishing he does it all he does it all and uh, the videos are amazing um, especially the hunting ones um, it just, just how he explains what they're doing, the the patience, you know, it, it takes a few days, you know, the, all that stuff. He, he goes through it all, 
So by the time we get done watching his his uh, series on whatever he's doing for like hunt, bear hunting, it's like, oh wow, I can go out and do that now, you know. But um, I like it how he takes you to places that uh, you know it's remote, uh, barely anybody, human hand touching it, and uh, just the beauty beauty of the landscaping, and the same for his fishing videos, you know, and um, takes you to a lot of the, just like. Um, uh, Northwest Fishing Secrets, they'll take you beyond where pe a lot of people can't reach and show you the beauty of the lake or the pond that they're at or wherever they're hunting at. So, uh, Samong Outdoors. Um, next on my list is 618 Fishing and, uh, this guy. Um, another, another guy that it took me a while to get used to, but after, uh, watching his videos, one after another, I kind of like binged one time. What he does, he's uh, he's like uh, he's a spillway fisher, fisherman. So he'll find those spillways and um, go find the giants out of there. You know, like bowfin, the catfish, um, carp, uh, anything that's humongous. He's always looking for that big guy. And I like the challenges he puts through himself. Yeah, I mean, he'll bring his his, his uh, worms and 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 whatever fish that he's using, but. He'll bring like chicken legs, uh, turkey legs, uh, um, a sandwich, and he'll try to fish with those. And he's successful at it, you know. Um, he's a guy that's not afraid of the elements when it's really downpouring. He's still out there trying to catch that big one out of the spillway. But um, a very good channel, uh, very, very uh, fun to watch. So, um, my next on the list is uh which is 16 number 16 is uh trout hunting nz new zealand I, I believe and uh this guy he's a fly fisherman and uh he does he, he, he fishes for all types of trout in the uh, rivers in uh, new zealand and uh and it's fly fishing i've never fly fished before and that is something that i am um wanting to do later on and as i get this uh become more of a professional at at uh, trout fishing, then um, I'm gonna eventually teach myself how to fly fish. So I heard there's a lot more skill level to it, and uh, it's a lot of fun. So, but again, again, trout hunting, uh, New Zealand, MZ. Uh, number 17 on my list um, is a, a channel that I just recently, within the uh, past two weeks, came across. And it's called Bass Trout slash Trout Bass slash Trout. Um, of course, the name says it all. He fishes for bass and trout, and uh, and the videos are pretty uh, pretty good and uh, enough to keep keep my attention and and engage. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes uh, some of these guys will put out a video and it's not. Uh, it's just more like oh, okay, yeah. and uh, and I know that some of my videos get like that sometimes. So. But, like I said, this guy, he, uh, he actually has a really good trout, uh, channel, so Bass Trout channel, hook him up, uh, look him up. Alright, so the last three I left last because, uh, I, like I said in the beginning, number 18 is my channel, PNW Trout Slayer, uh, that's me and Brian, uh, Pacific Northwest Trout Slayer. Um, I do watch my, my, um, videos all the time, uh, just like my music that I, when I used to be in the rap game, um, if I made it, there's a reason why, because I liked it, you know what I'm saying? So just same as my videos, if, if I wasn't going to watch my videos, then why put it out, right? Um, I do enjoy watching my videos and watching the catches and stuff like that, so um, so my channel is one of my favorite channels. Um, number 19, um, my buddy Juan Lopez's channel, Outdoors and PNW. I met him at uh, Lake St. Clair one time, they were fishing from the shore. And uh, he was there with his family, and uh, we got a talking. And uh, his son caught his uh, caught a trout. I thought it was his first uh, trout he uh, his son's caught. So I, uh, he allowed me to record him and everything. And uh, but then I found out later on that uh, his son caught a trout before that. But I, it might have been his first trout at St. Clair's, maybe. But it was cool. Got to connect with him. Uh, good people. And then uh, we finally went fishing together twice. Uh, once was at a uh, um, Lake Sinclair. Um, I wanted to show him how to fish uh, the cutthroat. 
which was very successful. We had fun, fun day, day that day too. And then we also went to uh, Off It Lake because I wanted to go ahead and uh, get him on some um, little jumbles or the bigger trout that they had uh, stocked. And uh, I don't think he got anything over 13 inches though. And uh, but I, I did connect. Uh, I might have um, limited out to everything that they were like 16 inches and above. Uh, but he's he's awesome people to be around. Uh, we were gonna go fishing today if he was off, but uh, um, it rained. But he's a roofer, so I thought maybe he's gonna have off today. But uh, I guess not. He didn't hit me up. But hopefully um, I'm gonna get back out there with him. Um, like I said, he's cool people. What up? What up? <laughs> um, and last, I've saved this one for last because this channel is my brother's channel, Mike, my boy Calby. Um, him and his partner Livingston Man, it's called, uh, they, they do this channel, it's called Hudson Valley Prepping and Survival. Uh, not necessarily fishing, I mean, he has a couple fishing fishing clips on there of him and his son, whatever, but uh, his name says it all, Prepping and Survival. The, they just uh, prepare you for uh, any anything that can happen, natural disasters, uh, a government takeover, um, maybe there's something going on with your area, you know, and, you, and stores you can't get to the stores or whatnot. So they teach you how to prep, how to store, how to how to, how to uh, um, you know bug out bags, um, what you would need if you're you're surviving off the land, um, um, anything anything along those, that, that nature. You know, and they, and they also cover, uh, you know, what's going on in the news and stuff like that. But um, I highly recommend you to watch watch that channel, um, especially if you don't know anything about survival and prep, prepping and survival. Um, just because you live here in the, in the United States doesn't mean it can't happen to you. You know what I'm saying? Um, I had not only say the luxury of traveling but military being in the army especially infantry you get to travel the world and and you see the things out there and then when you come to back to the states and you're like wow all these people who are complaining or saying that this this country is is worse or or, or, or bad those are the same people who have not traveled the world and had to live in these other places you know and they, they just live here in good old United States of America, taking things for granted. And uh, that's a that's a bad problem because because of the unknown, the unknown, they will ride off emotion a lot. And and, and are, are those are your um, I want to say your violent ones, your ones who who start stuff because they don't know. And just because they don't know then they're they're naive to the fact you know I'm gonna tell you this country is not the worst country um, you think this is the most racist country this is not the most racist country I mean I've got to put it this way why is thousands of they say illegal immigrants are trying to sneak into the country I don't think there's no such thing as illegal immigrants but there is a right way to do it you know what I'm saying without getting too much into it I, I feel that everybody has that right to come to this country and has that right to live that American dream because my father did it but he did it work the right way I mean he was a he was a political political prisoner from Vietnam so he came here with nothing he had to live in the freaking tent city you know just like how you saw in the movie Scarface with Al Pacino um, he had to get vetted he had to get a uh, sponsor family and uh, you know Things, you know, it wasn't that good with me and my father, you know, I, I'm, I'm open, I openly say he abused me physically, mentally, and emotionally, but I also understand where he comes from and how hard it was for him to get to the country, you know, and guess what, he succeeded because his seed, me, I mean, he has, he has another son, my brother Lee, I can speak for myself. I succeeded in life. Um, I am a fighter. I am a go-getter, and I am living the American dream. Um, I make great money. Um, not I have. It wasn't always like that. I've been poor. I've been on welfare before. 
Um, I've worked low-end jobs. I've worked under the table. Um, but because of me putting myself in in the position of meeting people, networking, um, education, got my VA, um, I went in the military, um, I graduated high school, um, all the things people, all everything that people said that I had to do, I did. And when I said I did, I was going to do something, I did it. And that's one of the uh, things that attracted my wife to me. She, she said that um, that when I say I do something, I do it. And when I do it, I do it to 100%, you know. Um, I remember my grandfather, I probably said this in my videos before, but if you're ever going to do something, do it 100%. Whether if it's legal or illegally, I don't care what you do, just make sure you do it 100%, you know. And I know he didn't want me to do illegal stuff, but, you know, we were all young once and we've done some stupid shit. But, let it be known, I went 100 at it, and I didn't just go in blindly, I made, I planned. Luckily I never turned into a career criminal, right? I don't know where my life would be then, but locked up, running on the run or every time, not having a family, I tell you that. But, um, but that's it. That is my top 20. I know I probably went off point a couple times, but this, this video is, um, straight from the hip. Um, I didn't want to go out without a week out putting the video out, and, uh, we're already about a little, four, about 40 minutes into this video, and, uh, like I said, I wanted to get a video out to you guys this week and not have nothing. Um, like I said, because I got I got 97 subs. So, if you are coming across these videos and you have a YouTube channel, please subscribe, man. I I, I would love to have this as my job eventually later down the line. Um, right now, I know I can't monetize because most of my videos has uh, Chris Stapleton playing in the background. That's my dude, man. That boy can blow. Um, I, you can tell he's been through some shit in his life. Yeah, boy can sing. Not sing, he can sing. <laughs> and that's another thing. You guys got a uh, favorite artist that you guys like to listen to while you're doing activities? I let me know because I'm always looking for great music to listen to. You know. But uh, I get think this ends my uh, episode. Uh, what episode twelve? Well, um, May third or June third. And it's 11.30 uh, a.m. And that concludes this episode. Um, sorry this is not a fishing one, but uh, it was a chance to sit down and talk to you a little bit and and uh, go over the, the YouTube channels that I like to watch. And I highly recommend every single one that I mentioned. Um, am I going to put these this down in the description? No. So I'm going to make you watch this whole damn video. I'm just going to put my regular stuff I put in the description. I know, am I being lazy? Yeah, I'm being lazy. I got a uh, little piece of grass to cut out there and some some um, trimming that I have to get done. And I heard my battery uh, beep mean it's done charging. So, till next time, yeah, son, that's how it's done.